The Republicans in the Senate facing a squeeze tonight from Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer trying to push a vote on President Trump's border emergency and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell pushing ahead with a potential vote on guns. All this as the nation's capital digests the departure of National Security Advisor John Bolton. Much to discuss with Senator Pat Toomey, Republican from Pennsylvania. Senator, welcome. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me. An issue you're working on very closely in a bipartisan fashion is guns. Let me play something from your colleague Chris Coons and I will get you to respond. Okay. I think this falls under the heading of let's enforce the laws we have more thoroughly. I cannot have another month go by where we have more mass shootings as we did in Dayton and El Paso and Odessa in just the last few weeks. How are your efforts to come together with something that President Trump will sign going at this point? Well, uh, they're going. Okay, so uh, I have had quite a number of conversations with the president himself. My staff and his staff are engaged. We've been speaking with other uh, members of the Senate who are interested. And let me be very clear, the, the president and I are in complete agreement. We're not interested in infringing on the rights of law-abiding citizens. Mm -hmm. For me, this is all about trying to keep guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't have guns in the first place. That is to say, violent criminals and people who are dangerously mentally ill. So I'd like to see us uh, apply background checks on all commercial sales so that we can identify people who are in one of those two categ categories that shouldn't have guns. Sure. And we're trying to see if we can find a, a place where the president is comfortable, where we can get a, a majority in the Senate. The discussions are still underway. Are you convinced tightening up background checks will prevent another Odessa, Texas attack? So it's hard. Uh, there are there are a long list of attacks that might have been prevented had there been a background check, but people purchased their guns in a fashion that didn't require a background check. But Mike, I'll be the first to say there is no one piece of legislation that's going to end these kinds of appalling, horrific mass attacks. There, there's no one thing we can do. But if we can make it harder for dangerous people to get firearms in the first place, maybe we'll save some lives. Senate Democratic Leader Chuck Schumer looking to put you guys on the spot. Take a listen to this. The president's national emergency declaration was and is an outrageous power grab by a president who refuses to respect the constitutional separation of powers. Is there any reason in your mind for the Senate to vote again on President Trump's national emergency at the border? Um, I think that's a pointless exercise. We saw how that went the last time. Uh, it's going to go the exact same way this time. Um, I actually think the president is right to identify the emergency at our border. I think he's mistaken to reprogram some of the funds that Congress has appropriated for military construction and to use it for a different purpose. Mm -hmm. But this has been adjudicated. This has been litigated. This has been settled. Senator Schumer just wants to try to score political points and to tie up the Senate so that we can't be doing productive things. Another bombshell headline today, John Bolton is out at the White House. Here's your colleague Rand Paul's reaction, and I'll get you to react. I think uh, the threat of war around the world is greatly diminished with Bolton out of the White House. I think he had a naive point of view for the world that we should topple regimes everywhere and institute, you know, democratic governments and we would make the world perfect or remake the world in our image. And frankly, it just doesn't work that way. It sounds like Bolton and President Trump butted heads a lot. Your thoughts on his departure? Yeah, well, um, so I have a slightly different view than my uh, my friend and colleague, Senator Paul. Uh, I have a lot of respect for John Bolton. I think he's a very smart, very well-informed, very thoughtful guy. Um, I, I think he served his country well, and we should be grateful for his service. Having said that, I think he had a different worldview from the president. I think John Bolton was l more likely to be an advocate for using using power, projecting force, and taking a more interventionist approach. I don't think he wanted to have a war everywhere in the world and uh, you know remake regimes, but. I think he probably would be uh, more intent interventionist leaning than the president, and at some point that probably uh, led to this uh, this divide. Look, the president has to have advisors with whom he's comfortable. It's the president's discretion. Senator Pat Toomey, the great state of Pennsylvania. Thanks for your time, sir. Thanks for having me, Mike. Appreciate it.